A setback in the return to space. You saw it live right here on News 6. SpaceX's attempt to launch American astronauts for the first time in years scrubbed by bad weather. We'll have to wait a few more days before they try again. Mark Lehman joins us live from Space View Park in Titusville this morning. And there were lots of disappointed space fans there yesterday. Yeah, and you could see the look on the face of thousands as they left the spot here along the Indian River yesterday afternoon. Everyone wanted to see history being made in the inaugural man flight in the SpaceX NASA partnership. But Mother Nature's plans were much different. In Dragon SpaceX, unfortunately, um, we are not going to launch today. You are go for 5.100 launch scrub. The call for a launch scrub coming down 16 minutes before what was scheduled to be a historic liftoff from U.S. soil. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine saying the weather risk was just too high. But there was a concern that if we did launch, um, it could actually trigger lightning. Um, and so we made the right decision. But it was a decision that disappointed tens of thousands along the space coast. That broke our heart. <laughs> we really wanted to see it, but... Kelsey McMahon and her family made the trip from Tennessee. We actually ended up passing a billboard and it said that they're doing a launch today. And we were like, well, we're in the area. Might as well go ahead and watch it. Crowds in Cocoa Beach dodged the rain and thunderstorms leading up to the scrub. Now all eyes are on the next launch attempt this weekend. We are going to launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. We're going to do that. We're very close. But when that actually happens is still up in the in the air. The next launch attempt is scheduled for Saturday afternoon, but there is only a 40 percent chance for favorable weather conditions. Local authorities say they are planning for even larger crowds for that launch attempt. For now, reporting live in Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.